गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस सेशन इज फॉर क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड आर टॉपिक इज मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन स्टूडेंट दिस चैप्टर इज टॉपिक ऑफ कैनामेटिक्स दैट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स लेट्स नो अबाउट कैनामेटिक्स कैनामेटिक्स इज स्टडी ऑफ मोशन विदाउट गोइंग इन टू इट्स कॉजेज ओके and this chapter deals with motion along a straight line that is rectilinear motion the motion is the change in position of an object with respect to time so student first this first point is about the kinematics this kinematics is a branch of physics in which we study about the motion without going into its causes and this chapter is deal with in motion along a straight line and its change and uh, now what is motion then motion is the change in position of an object with respect to time so this is definition of motion okay this one is this one is definition of motion okay what is motion then motion is a relative term and it is change in position of an object with respect to time okay first uh, let's know something which will help us to study about motion okay so that topic is scalar and vector i hope you know about scalar and vector quantities so because in this chapter that is motion in straight line we need some vector quantities so we should know about vectors and scalars okay so let's start with scalar and vector quantities so first one is the distance in an object travel is a scalar quantity okay because it is independent of direction so students the distance the distance of an object sorry the distance an object travels is a scalar quantity okay because it does not have any direction but if the distance have direction that is known as displacement that is our second point so let's know what is this means what is displacement so the displacement of an object is a vector quantity and equal to the final position minus the initial position okay so this is the method by which we will find out the value of displacement displacement of an object is a vector quantity and it is equal to final position minus initial position i hope you understand now let's know some other scalar quantity so speed of an object is scalar quantity okay now you can see here an object speed v is scalar quantity or you can say speed of any object is scalar quantity because speed does not have direction or you can say it is independent of direction so speed is a scalar quantity now we are going to see what is vector equivalent to speed so let's see here speed is how fast an object is going it is always a positive first know something more about speed so speed is always positive because it is independent of direction so its spe speed is how fast an object is going means if object is traveling very fast speed is high if object is traveling slow the speed is low but it cannot be negative but it is always positive okay now next point is velocity you can see this velocity is a vector quantity that includes direction so students this term velocity is vector because it is because it includes direction in it but this speed speed is independent of direction means this speed is does not have direction okay you can say if you say a is traveling with 5 meter per second it means this is speed of any object a but if you say 
एज ट्रेवलिंग विथ स्पीड विथ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड अलॉन्ग any fixed direction then that will be velocity so you can see velocity and speed velocity is a vector quantity because it has magnitude as well as direction this one is scalar because it has only magnitude but not direction so let's understand the next one in one dimension the direction of velocity is specified by positive or negative so if motion is in one direction suppose along x axis then the velocity is specified by positive or negative it means its direction is given by either positive or negative so let me tell you the example of this positive or negative suppose this one is the line let me change the color so that it will be visible for you suppose this one is the color so let this one is the x axis and this one is y axis okay this one is origin then this one is positive x axis this one is negative so if object travel in this direction the velocity is taken as positive if object travel in this direction velocity is taken as negative okay so this positive or this negative is the direction for one dimensional motion and the velocity may be positive if it is in positive x direction or it can be negative if it is in negative x direction okay i hope you understand this topic and uh, so let's understand what is difference between distance and displacement okay so you can see in this slide distance and displacement okay so the definition of distance you can see this is distance okay so distance is defined as the length of the actual path taken to go from source to destination okay suppose let me give you one example suppose you you are going or every day you travel from your home to your office or you go all the students every day go from their home to their school from different different path that path i hope that path is not exactly a straight line but it is like a curve so total length of that path is taken as a distance okay suppose you travel from your home to your school the total path so total length of the path is a distance okay but the linear distance from your home to your school is known as the displacement so we are going to understand next one that is displacement okay so you can see this one is displacement so length of straight line joining the source to the destination or in other word the length of the shortest path is known as the length of the shortest path is known as is known as displacement so you can see here the definition of displacement length of the straight line joining the source to the destination or in the other word the length of the shortest path is known as displacement okay so i hope you understand students i hope you get this point i hope you get this difference between displacement and distance okay so let me explain the things with one example suppose a person he started his motion from this point a and he will reach to point b this one is b suppose this point is c this one is d and this one is the initial point a okay so and this one is quite so 
so the total path this path is known as the distance whereas the shortest path like this so a straight line i want to this one is actually a straight line this one is the displacement it means ac if you draw exactly straight line this ac is known as displacement whereas the total path this path length is known as distance so i hope you understand the difference between distance and displacement let me explain the same thing with one another example so you can see this example now you can see this one is a circle suppose a boy starting in motion from point b and traveling through this path or this path you can choose according to his choice in both of the cases the distance traveled by the this boy is the bd r bd or you can write it 2 pi r by 2 as the half of the circumference of the circle but the displacement is equal to the bd and you can see the bd is equal to the diameter of this circle if point a is center okay so this one is the largest chord which is equal to the diameter of this circle so you can see if a boy walk from a to b sorry if a boy walks from b to d or in a circular path the distance will be the semi circle of the circle while the displacement will be the diameter bd okay so i hope you understand you are getting my point this one is the displacement actually because this is the shortest distance between point d and b but the total length traveled by the boy either from b to d along the one or path two in both the cases the distance traveled by the boy is half of the circumference of the circle that is pi r or you can say this if you know the radius of the circle you can calculate the path length and also the diameter so these type of questions you can easily solve because you know the simple geometry and the formula for circumference of the circle i hope you understand the basic difference between distance and displacement okay so you can calculate i am giving you one another example suppose this one is a square of side a suppose side of this square is a now this one is point a and then b this one is c and d now suppose a person start motion from a and travel along ab to bc to cd and to da and he reached at point a or suppose he reached at point d okay he reached here at point d along ab then bc then cd then what is the distance and what will be the displacement so in this case distance is a then a then a it means total path length is 3a so distance is 3a and the displacement is the linear distance between the final position and the initial so this one is a so distance is 3a and displacement is a okay so this is very interesting example for distance and displacement i hope you understand basic differences let me explain with another example so suppose this one is the origin okay this one is the line origin and line you can say this that x is equal to 0 okay you can take it x is equal to 0 now in this direction it is taken as positive and this direction it is taken as negative it is according to the choice so suppose rohit and seema okay so suppose rohit and seema both start from their houses 
Rohit walks two kilometer east, while Shiva walks one kilometer to the west, and then turn back and walk one meter. Okay, so it means Rohit traveled two meter from his home. Suppose he is reached here. Rohit and Shiva. Suppose sorry, this one is Rohit. He traveled. Two kilometer in the east direction. This one is two kilometer. While Shima walks one kilometer, Shima walks one kilometer. Suppose he reached here, okay, to the west, and then turn back, walk one kilometer. So you can see Shima walks one kilometer to the west, and then turn back to one kilometer. It means what happened? Shima will reach at the same point from. Where she started her motion, it means the initial point and the final point is coincide. Okay, but Rohit does not return. Okay, so Rohit will be standing there. Okay, so in this case, the distance travelled by Sima and the Rohit will be same because let me make you understand. This is the point. Shima moves one kilometer, then return back to one kilometer. So total length is one plus one. This is two. So she completed two meter, whereas Rohit travel two kilometer in the same direction. So and he will be there. So the total distance traveled by Rohit is two kilometer. Okay. Now if you talking about displacement, Shima is at the same point. From where she started her motion, it means the dis distance between initial and final point is zero. So displacement for Shima is zero, whereas displacement for Rohit is two kilometer. Because in this case, the distance between final and initial point for Rohit is remains two kilometer. Okay. So I hope you understand. You are getting my point. This is very interesting example. So you can see. She is back home and her displacement is zero meter. Okay, or zero kilometer you can say because it was in kilometer. This is because direction of motion is different in both the cases. You require both distance and direction to determine displacement. Okay, we know that displacement contains both magnitude. This one is magnitude and the direction. Distance travelled by them is. Then that is two kilometer because it does not need any direction, but it is total path length traveled by any object. So I hope you understand this example. Read this carefully and try to make yourself understand. Okay. So now we are going to understand. If you understand the difference between displacement and distance, it means you have the knowledge. Basic knowledge to study the uniform and non-uniform motion. Okay, so if you are not able to understand, revise this video from beginning again. And if you know the basic understanding or basic difference between distance and difference, then we are going to start the next slide. So you can see here the heading is uniform motion. I know you know. the meaning of the word uniform the word uniform means i hope you know ek saman means there is no change matlab ek hi jaisa and motion you know what is motion if a if position of any object is changes with respect to time then that object is said to be in motion suppose for example you can see this Point A. Suppose this point A is here. After two second, it will be here. So if this is the reference point, so you can see if point A is here at some time, and after some time, it will be here. It means its position is changed with respect to the reference point. This suppose this is O. So With respect to reference point, position of A is changes. It means object A is said to be in motion. Okay, so this is the basic concept of motion. So 
हेडिंग इज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन एक समान एक समान मोशन मतलब इसमें कोई चेंजेस नहीं हो रहा हो तो उसे एक समान या यूनिफॉर्म मोशन बोलते हैं लेट्स कैन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ओके सो वट इज बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू कैन सी यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इज वेन इक्वल डिसप्लेसमेंट अगर ड्यूरिंग एनी सक्सेसिव इक्वल टाइम इंटरवल ओके सो इट मीन्स इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रेवल फोर्टी किलोमीटर इन वन आवर देन अगेन फोर्टी किलोमीटर इन सेकेंड आवर सेकेंड आवर मीन्स टाइम इंटरवल इज सेम दिस वन इज वन आवर देन दिस वन इज अगेन टाइम इंटरवल ऑफ वन आवर देन अगेन फोर्टी किलोमीटर इन थर्ड आवर थर्ड आवर मीन्स वन आवर देन टोटल वन टू थर्ड दिस वन इज थर्ड मीन्स द पर्टिकुलर थर्ड द टाइम इंटरवल इज वन ओके सो इन आल द टाइम इंटरवल्स वन आवर वन आवर वन आवर यू कैन सी द ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रेवल इक्वल डिस्टेंस सॉरी डिसप्लेसमेंट फोर्टी 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 किलोमीटर सो यू कैन से दिस मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म ओके नाउ सेकेंड इज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इज ऑलवेज अलॉन्ग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके स्टूडेंट्स द यूनिफॉर्म यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इज ऑलवेज इन स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके स्ट्रेट लाइन एग्जाम्पल वाइल ड्राइविंग अ कार एट अ परफेक्टली स्पीड इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर पर आर दिस मीन्स देयर इज अ चेंज इन पोजिशन बाई सिक्सटी किलोमीटर सिक्सटी दिस मीन सिक्सटी एंड देन किलोमीटर फॉर एवरी टाइम इंटरवल ऑफ वन आर ओके सो यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम दिस वन इज ऑब्जेक्ट इन ईच टाइम इंटरवल इट ट्रेवल सेम डिस्टेंस so the displacements between successive frames are same dots are equally spaced so vs is constant in this you can say dots are equally spaced so the motion is is in straight line and in each time interval it travels equal displacement so this motion is motion is in straight line so i hope you understand okay so i hope you understand the unique concept of uniform motion student so thank you for watching and we will continue with uniform motion in our next class okay